you know, to be able to play the Black Ferns twice this year was outstanding. But if we could get, you know, I know Jill is trying to work on a five test uh, series next year, um, not all against the Black Ferns, but other opposition, which is, is fantastic. And the girls need to play test match rugby. And as I've said before, if they can play the best, uh, if we want to be the best when we get to play the best, then we're going to go, go get closer to, to achieving that. Um, you know, more test matches is what's going to actually allow the girls to develop in that environment. We, we all love the tour. Um, there's no doubt about that. And I'm th you know, that's one of the great things about rugby is that it is such a world game. It opens doors to tour all over the world. So, yeah, touring and, and getting the girls out of their comfort zone, taking them elsewhere, taking them to new uh, new cultures and that sort of stuff. It, it actually builds them as people as well. Um, and that's the thing. Like we, you know, we're we're developing rugby players, but I'd like to think we're developing really good people who have life experiences that that, that they can take back into their communities um, in a really positive manner. So, you know, the opportunity to tour and to to learn. Uh, in other parts of the world is fantastic. Obviously any support we get is going to help us but I think it just help us in regards to preparation allowing us to spend more time together because I can I think everyone can see the development of the team when we spend that time together and how much better we're getting as a group so yeah just spending more time together and the exposure we'll get is better. Definitely the girls into the future and I can't wait to see the girls that are coming through I know now Moving forward, we have girls that are 17, we have girls that are yes, doing the HSC now that are playing our grand final on the weekend. So to have girls like that and seeing that pathway built upon is important for the game moving forward and something I am so honoured to be part of. Massive on that. Representing your nation is, is a massive privilege and I'm not going to stop harping on about it over the next three years before the World Cup and the girls are going to get sick of me saying it but I'm not going to apologise for that. And I think you know, to, to be able to do that, to, to be able to represent your country is, is an outstanding opportunity for these girls and I think for, for a lot of them they really treasure it um, and to be able to you know, see the, the joy in their face and the, and the privilege and the honour that, that, that they actually have in their face when they get given the jersey, it's, um, it's quite nice, it's, it's, it's heartwarming.